G'day everyone, welcome back to the West Indies. We're here in, in Dominica, which is our, our final island before the end of the tour. Uh, I've been lucky enough to find Michael Beer hanging around uh, the rooms. Obviously, we've back in the day we uh, got him on a few times at the academy, so it's uh, it's a great honour to have you on here, Beery. How are you going and how are you enjoying the, the West Indies? Uh, very good, Starkey. Going well. Uh, happy today that Collingwood got a win against Port Adelaide, so that, that cheered me up this morning to wake up to that news. But uh, really enjoying the West Indies so far and looking forward to this last test. Great to hear. Um, not really following the AFL, but uh, those mighty dragons are going well. <laughs> um, obviously we're here in Dominica, it's, it's a bit windy, but um, we've come from, from Trinidad where obviously it was rain affected. Um, hoping for a bit of sunshine here and uh, how, how, I guess how do you take that test match? Obviously not the result we're looking for, but um, you bowled well, bowled a lot of overs. How, how were you feeling that test? Uh, I was just, it was great to get back in the Australian colours. It's been a, a fair while between drinks for me, so it was, it was great to get back out there and get amongst the boys. And obviously, it was an interesting test. I think we've been unlucky the rain came around the, the final day because I think we were definitely in a position to win the game. So that was disappointing from us. But going on from there, looking forward to obviously this test and hopefully taking that Frank World Trophy home. Yes, indeed. Uh, like you said before, you've been on a few few tours now. Um, obviously played your second test since your debut in Sydney. You're here with Nathan Lyon as well, the other spinner. Uh, are you working together, learning a few things off each other and that sort of thing? Obviously the West Indies is, is a bit of turn in the wickets. Uh, there wasn't the last test especially. Uh, what have you been working on, um, obviously for yourself and maybe with Nathan as well? I think personally it's more of a... Uh I've just been working on if I got that opportunity like I did last week to be able to perform. So that's the main thing and working with, definitely have been working with Nathan. Um, it was great to see him take those wickets last week and really turn the game on its head. That's what we need at the time so that was brilliant and basically as a, as a, spin, a spin brotherhood as we call it we've been working together and basically really trying trying different stuff. Obviously these conditions are a bit different to what we've grown up with and start playing first class cricket in. So. Basically on that side of things we've been working together and trying trying different things to work on these pitches. Very good. Now we're in Dominica. Uh, test series sitting at 1-0 to, to the good guys, the Aussies. Uh, hopefully we're going to get a full test out here and I guess uh, not many of us have seen this, this wicket or this ground so uh, that's probably going to determine the team and, and hopefully Beery can come in and get those rewards again as, as Lion, Lino did in the last game. He got five for, for those who didn't know. So uh, I guess we're going to go head down to training this afternoon and have a look at the wicket. Uh, what are you hoping for there Beery? Uh, oh, well, the word is it's good for batting so um, I think Chief Shandipal normally finds most things in, in the Caribbean for batting, so I think it would be another hard one for the bowlers, especially probably the first three days, and as we saw in Barbados, that the game will speed up so towards the back end. So Day four is a moving day, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> Dep I think it depends on conditions on the moving day, but yeah, definitely looking forward to see what we get down there. And Very good. So we've been in Barbados and Trinidad, and now in Dominica. Uh, a bit of time in Barbados. Did you, did you get up to anything there? I've asked the other guys when we were out on to uh, whether they've been up to anything, whether it be the beach or going to nice restaurants. What were you up to, Beery? Uh, I hanged around with a few of the single blokes, unlike yourself, who had their partners here. Uh, we, we had a couple of nice dinners together, and we also did a fair bit of body surfing, Trevor, Trevor Hendy style, out on, the, out on the ocean off Barbados. That was quite good. Uh, Trinidad sort of stayed low, obviously the main aim was knowing I was playing the test match, a lot of energy and a lot of preparing for that and then obviously since we've been here in uh, Dominica it's definitely been um, interesting. The bus ride from the airport to the hotel was, was one to note, it was nice nice, nice and windy and turny and, and also the bus driver had his uh, favourite CD, the Michael Bolton's greatest hits on the whole way, it had a good volume so I think most of the boys enjoyed that. I think Huss enjoyed it most, hanging out that window, uh, being a bit bit sick, I think, but yeah. um, not like you. No, I was alright. I think Michael Bolton got me through. <laughs> An hour and a half's worth. Definitely. He played, played the cassette twice, I think. Very good. All right, a bit outside of cricket here. Uh, for those who don't know, Michael's uh, due to be a father very soon. Uh, you're looking forward to that, and I guess any gender known or, or names up in the air? Uh, looking forward to it would be an understatement. I just I can't wait. It's something to really look forward to go home to. And my partner's 32 weeks pregnant now, so I'd, I'd get home sort of in the in the mix of it. It's all starting to happen. So looking forward to getting home and becoming a dad. Uh, in gender, we're not sure. It's going to be a surprise. So 
I'm looking forward to that as well and I haven't picked a name yet either so that's something to work on over the next few weeks. Very good, a bit uh, something to do in your, your time off or your weeks off for cricket in the off season then? Yeah, something definitely keep me, keep me occupied. Learn how to do the, the, the diapers? Uh, not yet, but I'll, I'm hopefully to learn before, before it comes to time. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you, Beery, for joining us. Uh, hopefully... You can take some wickets in this next, next test and Australia can, can win the series 2-0 and retain that trophy like, like Beery said before. So thanks for joining us again and make sure you tune in to cricket.com.au to follow the last test on tour here in the West Indies with the Aussie team. Thanks guys. Thanks Beery. Thanks Doug.